Clive Palmer has hosted a Titanic-themed dinner at the Coolum Resort he controversially plans to redevelop into a world-class tourist destination. The state government has ruled out approving any application that involves removing sand dunes. Clive Palmer wants the community to get on board with plans for his Coolum Resort and on Saturday night he transported guests back in time for a Titanic-inspired dinner. I think it's wonderful to see everyone dressed up in a bygone era. Vintage cars and actors helped set the scene. The first class affair was held a day after he unveiled grand plans for the resort. If approved, it would generate 9,000 jobs. I'm calling on all the residents of the Sunshine Coast to rise up in one almighty torrent and say that they require jobs for their children, futures for the, for the area, and most importantly, how are we going to develop the international airport if we don't have some sort of investment? It's almost unbelievable that somebody would suggest something of that scale and that nature for that uh, location in this day and age. Environmentalists will fight Mr Palmer's plans to remove 30,000-year-old sand dunes. We don't want to protect the dunes, we want to remove the dunes, you know, that's the whole point. And we want to put in that area a new hotel which can attract a lot of people, provide a lot of jobs and give futures to people. The state government says the dunes will stay. There is no development that would ever be allowed, regardless of who it is, upon those dunal systems there. The community will receive brochures and meetings will be held to gain feedback. The idea certainly has people talking. If it's going to create jobs and if it's going to open up the place, which I think it's wonderful, we need that. I think it would be a real travesty for that this area of the Sunshine Coast. Emily Fardoulis, 7 News.